Hey, how's it going, YouTube? You know, I don't know if you guys heard about, you know, Minister Cruffalo Dollar, but he was asking his, you know, congregation, his, he was asking about 200,000 of his World Changers Church International group to submit at least $300 or more so he can purchase a G650 airplane, basically a super jet. Now, the jet costs about $65 million. Yeah, $65 million. The Gulfstream G650 can fly eight passengers and four crew members in some, some 8,000 statue miles at cruising speed of Mach 0.85, according to the specs on the website. Yes, this is Cruffle Dollar asking his congregation to donate money so he can buy this jet. And <laughs> it, 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 it's, it blows your mind. Now, now this isn't saying for all pastors that preach, but Cruffle Dollar, do you if if you were to get sixty five million dollars, why can't you put that back into the community? Why can't you give that to somebody else? Sixty five million dollars for for this jet and it can only fit eight passengers so 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 let's just say if the two hundred thousand people in your you know your church if if they do donate the money will they be able to use the jet will they be able to do that so wait a minute here here you are asking i need this new jet but that that just that's that's just not right like no nah, man, don't 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 use the word of God for your own personal gain. No, don't do that. And then from what I heard, they saying that you got two Rolls Royces and a multiple multi million dollar homes. Like don't don't get me wrong. It's good to to respect the pastor, but do not put them on a pedestal and don't make them higher than what they are. They are a human being just like you or me. You bleed like me, you sweat like me, you cry like me, and you can be hurt. Okay, you you're you're not God. I mean, come on, Cruffle, darling. I'm, I'm, it, 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 and if it's like that, why don't you just either try to rent a jet or just sell for something little? Do you really need this G six fifty this jet? That Goldstream, do you really need it? Because honestly, I don't think you you need that jet. You really don't. Oh, okay. Because it can fly fast. It can commute to New York to Los Angeles in two and a half hours. And basically, he's saying that oh, well, you know, allow the ministry to make its ways around the world, and it can seat up. Well, now it's saying you can see up to 14 passengers with brethren for six. So, the old jet could only fit eight people, but this new jet would fit 14. Basically, six more people. Mm -mm. I, I just, I, I, I can't, I really can't get behind that, Mr. Dollar. I just, it, it's just, no. Now, if you are using that money to help back the community and whatnot, then, then man, I could say pat on the back. Okay, you can treat yourself, but you already got enough toys, man. And I just really hope the people in this church kind of see through that and don't really donate. $65 million, that's a huge price there. Now, if it's a simple little jet or whatnot, then okay. Okay, maybe, but nah, 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 Cruffle Dollar, that, that's just crazy. <laughs> nope, can't do it. But hey, I'll put the link in the box, and I want to hear you guys' discussion on this. Mr. Minister Cruffle Dollar, should or shouldn't he ask his people to help him donate to get a new jet?
See you later, everybody.